Okay, so I'm going to go over the basics of what's been going on with me the last couple of days. I've been sleeping in this truck, in particular the canopy in the back. And I've been hanging around the Lower Hearst Park area, uh, the Hollywood district. I've been trying to cut back on gas because I don't really have much money. I haven't been begging in the streets. I haven't been begging on Facebook. I haven't been begging on YouTube. And I had a, a job interview at the same restaurant. They called me back for the second time. And then they called me back for a third time to perform for an hour, busing tables, see how I work out. And then they told me they would check my references. Something must not have checked out properly because I didn't get a call back. But I invested a good amount of my time going out there uh, to find myself without a job. So the last couple of days I've been disappointed. And um, I've been uh, keeping a low profile. I've been working on my own spirits, which have been affected by this whole ordeal of coming back to my own hometown homeless. It's affected me in ways I'm not allowing myself to speak or talk of. But what I want you to know is that I'm okay, but that this is an incredibly challenging time for me. It's a, it's a turning point in my life, and it's interesting to go through this uh, as we go through this solar eclipse, also known as the blood moon. I also want you to know that there's a lot that I'm not talking about. But this whole experience, I believe, is going to make me stronger. And as far as learning about the homeless experience, this is my first time actually being technically homeless. It's ironic considering the fact that, you know, I've never really been completely without a place to live in Portland. And it's funny how as I arrive, despite all the different people that asked me when I would returning, when I would return, it's amazing that I'm experiencing this here now. So there's lots of thoughts that have come about in the last couple of days. I've had plenty of time to ponder and think uh, and, and go over certain ideas over and over and over again about the world and about Portland you know, and about this experience that I'm going through right now. And I'm working very hard to not get overwhelmed by it because I am so overwhelmed by what I'm going through that it is difficult to speak, to use my mouth, to write, uh, to, to do certain things. Um, I did sign up for the gym and, and spend a little chunk of change there so I can shower, even though their showers are not up to par. And if I knew what their showers are like, were like, I wouldn't have signed up there. But uh, <clears throat> I am trying to stay clean and healthy through that regard. And it isn't easy for me to eat completely healthy when, you know, I have to cook all my own food if I'm empty eat healthy. Uh, I have a cook stove in the back, a little bit of propane fuel. I have a five gallon water container I probably should refill. So as far as feeding myself, um, it's been it's been something that I've been able to do after all I am in a city I am surrounded by grocery stores it's something that I've been able to do but I am low on money I am basically down to the bare basics and I am waiting for the next step to make itself known I'm waiting for the next step to make itself known and I know that this is a major transition right now for many people on the planet with this eclipse and I'm being hopeful that some things will work themselves out in the next couple of days. There's a YouTube playlist I think I should start that's gonna be a collection of different thoughts that I have on different subjects. And they'll be done webcam style or, or basically with a, the, the, the blocky camera that I'm holding right now, usually in the truck. Everywhere I seem to go, uh, there seems to be people. There's people everywhere. And I definitely have their attention when I'm talking or doing video. But I'm not doing Access TV right now because it's not as easy for me to go right back to doing a show. There's steps that I have to go through. There's, there's a waiting process. Uh, and there's other fees uh, involved with being a producer at Portland Cable Access. So there's reasons why I'm not doing that all of a sudden. All I can say is that I'm doing okay and I'm still alive. I do want to announce that Michael C. Rupert... Michael Rupert did commit suicide on April 13th, 2014, just a couple days ago, uh, where he was living in Colorado, I believe. The reality of people that have contributed so much to this world actually killing themselves is very real. When one is isolated from society, 
uh, from certain things. Uh, when times do get difficult and we have certain celestial influences, people do tend to off themselves. It's true. And it's my hope that in the years to come that I will accomplish more of my dreams, basically, which is to educate as much as I can about certain subjects on this world so I can leave a positive influence. So I can leave a positive influence on the planet before I depart. That's my goal. I don't want to kill myself. I don't want to die. And Michael Rupert did contribute great information to the world, even though many people had disagreements with him. He had many disagreements with many people. He wasn't an easy guy to get along with. And I have my own story with Michael Rupert, but I'm going to save that maybe for a future book. But I hope that in the months and years ahead, I can accomplish more of my dreams and goals and get the message out there to more and more people, even internationally beyond the United States. And I know that my life is worth something. Even if it's not worth something to all these people here, even if what I've contributed to society means nothing to them and it's left me in the streets, I know what I've done means something and I will continue to prevail and share information with the world. All this experience is going to do is make me that much more stronger. And with that, I will see you in the next video. There's going to be a lot more information disclosed. Thank you for watching. My email is alex underscore answery at hotmail.com. And my message number, I did lose my cell phone, but my message number is 503-329-3041. That's 503-329-3041. I don't currently have a mailing address, but it probably wouldn't be a big deal to get one. Uh, I need to get some headphones so I can edit work on videos uh, while I'm out in public, at the library, places like that. But I've been totally out in the public. I haven't had any private time for myself. It's been out in the public and sleeping in the canopy at the park and basically wandering around the city wasting time. I don't have time to waste. I need to get busy doing projects. Or within a certain amount of time, maybe a few months, I need to leave the city of Portland. I'll give it till the summer. I will give it until the summer. I, I will tough it out and feel out what Portland's like to be homeless and somewhat forgotten. There's something that I have to learn from this. Maybe it's karma, maybe it's penance, maybe, maybe it's more purgatory. I remember it, it felt like I was in purgatory out in the desert. Yeah, I feel like I'm in purgatory now in the city. Right now in the city of Portland, I feel like I am in a form of purgatory. There's people all around me, but I'm incredibly lonely inside. For whatever reason, be it the way the stars stars have, have aligned or, or whatever, I feel totally invisible in my own hometown. And there's something to learn from this. There's something to learn from everything. There's a reason why these things happen. And I truly believe that I'm meant to ex share my experience, strength, and hope with someone suffering here in Portland. To show them that if, that if I can do it, they might be able to do it. You know, there's a lot of things that I created out of nothing in the past. And it seems like this is about that. It's about creating from nothing, starting over. And I'm about to launch into something amazing. I can feel it. And it seems like it's right for me to be launched into something amazing, a project where I put my heart, mind, and soul into. But for some reason, I'm having to go through this first. And I'm literally waiting. I'm literally waiting on the side of the road I'm literally waiting for that next step to reveal itself. It's not God help me. It's God help me see the, the next step that you've already laid out for me. That's how I see it. Anyway, I'm Alex Ansary. Thank you for watching. The email is alex underscore answery at hotmail.com. The message number is 503-329-3041. But I don't use the phone that often. <coughs> email and Facebook are the main ways that anyone can get a hold of me. Wish me luck. And I will talk to you in the next video. There's a new YouTube playlist series coming up on my thoughts on being back in Portland, Oregon.